this video we are going to talk about the route controller and the migration for our blog series and and with that I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram okay so let's get started and let's open the terminal here and firstly start the server again <laughs> okay and one more for other steps we need yeah so let's go here call localhost yeah we have created this thing we have created everything in our separate folders or included everything in the layouts so resources folder we have views views means everything which user can see that means the HTML part and we have created a user folder inside a layout folder in which we have separate out footer head and headers in the blade file we have included these things the main part so what I'm going to do next firstly I want to include that second part so if you will go to raw files we have created the clean blog and this one the post one so open this in chrome and you can see this one so whenever i click on any uh, blog then i will land on this page but you can see this page has many things common with this page like the header is the same header is the same here it is similarly the banner is the same footer is the same and I think these are things which is present here so resources layouts footer head and header head obviously this will not include much new things so everything is same but the different part is this so here it's the post and here is the list of the post so let's see how we can use one template file and include this one also on that template so firstly I will go to this welcome.blade.php and I will call it not welcome.blade.php I will call it let's say app.blade.php and move this inside user folders because this will be as a user file so now we have it inside the user and now what I will do I will open this and the main content I will cut it out from here so let's cut out everything from here and what next I will do I will create some home dot blade dot php file here and before pasting let's first extend extend what extend user dot app this file I'm going to extend and this will be extends okay and because now we have extended this thing we are going to have everything here so let's now talk about what is route so I will go to routes folder and you can see web.php file is there it is creating the route here which says it's a route what is route route is just like a URL you are creating so it's a get request I think you are if you are familiar with page PHP you are always familiar with the get request and when I go to slash means the root of the website then it will call a function which is going to return the view so let's see here we are and when I refresh we will get error because there is no welcome so what I will do instead of welcome I will say user slash home okay go and refresh and yes but we can't see the data we have everything but the main content is not present because it's extending the home and home is extending app and nowhere is our main content because it's on clipboard okay so what I'm going to do here I'm going to say section and section is the body or I will say simply main content okay and as we are 
have, we are having section, we have to show that section. So what this section will do, it's a blade template syntax and this will create a section here. So when I extend this app.blade.php and let's suppose I will give here section which is having the main content and and the section I have started the section so I have to end the section also and now I will say hello simply hello so this hello will going to be inserted here where just after the header just above the footer let's go refresh the page and you can see the hello is here but we don't want the hello we want the main content we have so let's paste everything we have on the clipboard and now when I go refresh the page we have everything here okay so this is the blade file blade syntax okay so let's see how we have done this so this show is very important and if I remove this show it's not going to show okay so that's the very cool part of this okay so in this way we can inject actually anything anywhere inside our files okay so if you want to say like we have to include some CSS for every other file so let's open this layout open head.blade.php and you can see we are including many assets many CSS here actually so here I can create a section section and here I will say uh, simple uh, header or simple head and obviously we have to show this also so show and similarly if we want to have some file in the footer we will say here anywhere let's say just at the bottom so at the bottom I will say section and se this section will called footer so you can name it anything you want so again show so what I have done I have given this section type of things on header which is included here so now I can include anything on the header part so let's say I want to say section section name is head and similarly end section and I will say again hello but this time this hello will go on this header or head dot blade dot php let's refresh and yes we can see we have the head at the top if you go to page source you can see this is the head part and inside head where we have created a section the head the hello is there okay so in this way we can use the blade syntax okay so let's remove this we don't need this right now but this will be very useful in the future okay so we have created our main template now we have to create this is the home blade or instead of home again I am not happy with home let's say blogs or simple blog so rename it or I will say blog hit enter save this refresh and yes we have this blog here okay so now we have the blog but we want one page for the post like this post we have okay so let's create one more file which is named as post.blade.php and as I have done in the blog.blade.php I will extend so extends user slash app simple okay yes and let's create a route so first we have talked about route we can create a route so again route it's a get request and whenever I go to post I will have a function which return view of user slash post so it's like we have to end this what happened Oh yeah we have to end this one also okay so it's simple whenever I go to website name slash post it's a simple slash post 
so whenever I go to slash post I will get that return of the view and view name is post post blade dot php it's here it's just extending this app dot blade dot php and we have not given any section so let's close this blog let's close this web even close this app yeah so here we have now we have to give section so section will include main content and section also okay inside section we are going to give the main content we have here on post.html so navigation part is here and main post content start from here so I will copy this from here till we get the footer so copy this and paste it inside here let's go refresh this post and you can see we have the post here but this is not the correct thing here we want the block title the background image should be different so now as we know about the sections and now let's talk about one more thing called yield so uh, let's open the header dot blade because in the header dot blade we have this background URL so here instead of giving this uh, right now as a hard coded one I will cut it from here and now I will create one more thing called yield it's just like a section but it's not getting much data so it's just for giving some small words so yield and it's a bg img that means the background image think about this as a section it's also giving you to giving you the functionality to inject something here okay and now we have to give this yield data on our post dot blade so here i will again say section and now because it's a yield we don't have to end section because it's not actually the section so here the name of the yield that is bgimg then comma and the data you want to give so let's see how we can do this we don't have to use that curly braces let's go and refresh yes we have this thing so let's review the source and and let's go here and you can see it's giving that bg jpg but for the post our raw file does have something different so for the post.html we have which one yeah which we have this one so copy this from here open post.blade so it will be like this so post bg and that was home bg so background go refresh the page and you can see now we have the different background here similarly we have to give this section for our blog.blade.php so i will open resources folder views user and inside user i have the blog.blade.php and i have to give this also here but this time it's not post it's uh, home we know that let's go to home page and yes this one for the main page this one for the blog page and now the time for this title so similarly we have created a yield for background image we have to create for that uh, title also here's the title and here's the subheading so let's go here this is the title so instead of clean blog i will create yield so simply y i e l d yield is title and same thing for this one so this will be subheading so sub heading instead of this i will do like this yeah so now we have to give we have given the background image we have to give similarly the next thing which is the title so 
let's say bitfumes blog here and now we don't need this asset because it's just a text so delete this and now the section the yield name is title and similarly this second one is sub heading we have created so learn together and grow together so this is my motto so this is good for the post but same thing let's call this for blog also so this one is for blog but for the post we have to say Bitfumes post. So here, every time we have the new post, we will echo out the post title here. So if this, go refresh, and yes, Bitfumes post is here, but we can see that here because subheading spelling is different. Heading, heading simple. And yes, we have this thing. So we have to make changes here also. Yeah. So here it is. And now, we have to connect our blog that means the main page to this page so that means whenever i click on this route this link i will get land on this post so let's go here and we have we are on the blog.blade we have this list of the blogs so for the first one only i will give in not post.html i will give Let's see how we can link to the next page. So I will create this. I will say route and the route name is post. Simple. So let's go to web.php which is inside routes web.php and we have created this route. Let's call a name. So name is simple post. So we have use the route name so we are calling route via its name so we have this routes go refresh uh, we have to go to this page oops yeah refresh this page and now click on the first one because we are only having the link on the first one so click here and we are on the this page so in this way we can connect two pages okay so we can have many of the routes we have so when we have more posts, so we are giving the route and the slug also. Slug means the URL of exact URL we will create when we create the blog. Okay, so let's let's see what are the routes. So let's go to terminal and here let's do one thing. PHP artisan route list list. Okay. So you can see we have three routes still one is for the main that means when i open this one this is the main that means the website root url this is now the api which we don't have to look for this one is the post this is the post url not the method of the post so it is the post simple so we will change it later and we will see how we can connect everything in the future so in the next episode we will talk about the controller and the migration and the table structure of our block series so we will meet in the next episode till then if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me message me on facebook twitter and instagram you can like also on these platforms so don't forget to subscribe for the next exciting episode we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye